It's an interesting story because my very first career was in media and PR. I did that for 10 years. And then I was made redundant and asked myself, what am I going to do next? And I decided to pursue my passion, which was singing and performing. I'd already danced for a friend um, in his um, pop group. Um, but um, uh, I, I loved music. I've always loved music. And so I started writing my own songs and pursuing music. And I'd had the intention to be a really successful pop singer. Um, what happened was along the way was life was to take me in a completely different direction and um, I met so many people who were singers and performers who struggled with life balance, confidence, I became a coach, I retrained to become a coach and first of all I was working with singers and performers and during that journey the music took very much a, a backseat step by step um, and then I wasn't quite sure how to integrate the two um, but then music is a very strange thing because it doesn't completely leave you alone and then um, through my business networking I met somebody who happened to run a recording studio and we got talking and I told them that I'd been a singer and performer and then he said well why don't you come to the studio I went down to the studio and then we found ourselves recording Songs from the Soul and Songs from the Soul is very dear to my heart because it started from lots of songs that I hadn't recorded after me kind of putting music to one side. Songs from the Soul is the title of the collection and it really is that. It is a collection of songs about this life experience, not that we're just um, this physical body, that the, there's a spirit soul. Um, and it was the, the songs were recorded over a 12 year period really. There are some songs that I'd written during my singing career um, from about 2000 through to songs that I picked up far later when I started being in the recording studio of John Hamilton, the producer, um, um, behind most of the songs. And so it's about finding yourself, it's about who am I, why am I here, um, all these concepts about who we actually are. Um, and it really is that journey from, first of all, finding out who you are from a very practical level, level of wanting to be something. The second song is called Be Something, the first song is called Soulmate, through to songs sooner or later, Help me find me, they're all about finding myself. Meanwhile, life passes by. These are all songs about the human experience. So the whole collection is about the human experience. But the love that I've given has brought me my own. Though the world has its tempest, its tears and its fire, there's a world full of wonder to which all is fine. Though the world has its tempest, Live Before We Die is um, one of my favourite songs and for me that was a real gift. It was very different to how most songs come along. Often songs come to me, I'm walking along the street, a little bit of melody will come in my mind or something's happened or a little bit of an emotion and a song will come along. This song I was actually asleep. I was asleep and in my dream I heard this song being sung, Live Before We Die. Stevie Wonder was singing it um, in his amazing elastic amazing incredible voice and I, I woke up and this song was going through my head and I went through all the Stevie Wonder songs I knew and my I knew of and I couldn't place this song live before we die and so I suddenly realized okay maybe I hadn't recorded it I quickly sang it into a voice recorder um, and that for me is a gift because the whole song pretty much the whole melody the lyric had come in this particular dream um, and I'm very pleased about it because when we took it into the studio all those years later um, um, and I had for years been kind of um, learning to play it on a piano. Um, I had a piano teacher for a while um, and then I was far better at playing piano than I am now. Um, and uh, then when we went to work on it in the studio, John was amazing. He just absolutely captured this song and, and it's very dear to my heart. And then we made a video for it later and um, it's very, very dear to me. Um, years are going to crawl and then fly by. The first and last they do for you is cry. It's up for you, up to you what you'll do. Uh, meanwhile, let's live before we die. Amazing.
and I, I take no credit for it. Thank you, Stevie. <laughs> I guess there are two or three songs that actually sum up what the whole album is about. Um, certainly there's a song called Help Me, Find Me, and it's actually interesting because it's like um, two characters, somebody f looking to find themselves, and it's like the voice of life, why did, I, why did I come to life, and the voice is saying, is this living? So it's this conversation almost about what life is about. There's a song called Meanwhile Life Passes By, which is actually one of the last songs that we recorded, um, which is all about you know how we do all of these things, seeking this, um, uh, I've been waiting my life for you, meanwhile life passes by. I was searching to find the truth, meanwhile life passes by. And in the end, this person realized that um, all the things that they were seeking were there all the time. And that's really, that's maybe where the, 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 um, the, the songs, the music, and my work as a life coach come together. I think around this time when I was recording songs like that, meanwhile life passes by and help me find me. I was then um, beginning to not so much shy away from music and realise that the music and the coaching and me as a speaker, coach, they're, they're saying a very, very sim similar thing actually. Who are you? Why are we here? And to embrace yourself and to embrace life itself. And that's what the whole collection is about from beginning to end um, and so it's like sooner or later. So um, actually, strangely, the coaching, the singing come hand in hand in this uh, uh, in this um, collection of songs, songs from the song. Love is the answer is worth talking about. Maybe that's Love is the answer has got an interesting story behind it because um, when I was again pursuing singing, I had a friend who was a singer, a very talented singer, and he's made it as a little bit of a celebrity um, a, a few years ago. Um, and he was going through some really challenging times, and so I decided I was going to write a song for him. And I was writing the song actually on my way to a singing lesson. Um, uh, called Love is the Answer. He had had a relationship breakup, um, and this idea of this person who had had a relationship breakup, um, but actually that they needed to now find love, in other words, for themselves, emerge. So that song was really dear to my heart, and um, he didn't. He decided he wasn't going to record it. Years later, I thought this is too <laughs> good a song to waste, so I recorded it. Um, and, and this is the one song actually on the collection that had a different producer. It was um, produced by a, a brilliant. Uh, producer called um, Reem Kofi, she did a fantastic job on the production, my friend Martin did a great job on um, the video, so it's the first kind of proper video as well, um, and it's a slightly different sound to the, the, the sound I go for, there's two versions in fact on the album, the up-tempo soft version which is the one that most people know, and then I recorded it again as a ballad um, with John. Uh, I'm on 